Okay, I've been told that Safari never asked for a password. Didn't know that. Yours would probably open up just like this. Now what we've got to do is we've got to get rid of that password so that you can log in as other people. So quit Safari, not just the traffic light, you've got to actually quit it. What you then need to do, go into your finder, find your applications, and you've got to go to utilities, which is down here, and you have to open up Keychain Access. Open that up. Now what you must look for, these are all the passwords on my computer. I'm going to click on, I've got all items highlighted here because I want to find it. I need to find one that says Simon. So I'm going to scroll down and there we go, Simon. I'm now going to do a right click or two finger tap. I'm going to delete it. I have deleted the password for simon.slegalhawk.catholic.edu.au. So I'm going to delete it. I can then quit keep the chain access, that's all I had to do. I'm now going to open up Safari again, and I've now got the login window. Now the username is Simon, slash, now your partner that you have to proofread, you type in their name here. So mine is Kerry, so I'm Kerry.Williams, and the password for everyone at the moment is Slegal. Mine's different, but that's because I'm admin. And then I click login. I didn't have the tick of save password for there. There we go. I'm now into Simon. If I quit Safari and open up again, it's going to open up and ask for that window. So I'm going to do it again. Simon slash Kerry dot Williams. I'll have to change that one. And the password is legal. Don't put this tick on for the moment because it will mean you log in as them permanently. You'd have to go into Keychain. And then just log in. And now, reporting. I can then check Kerry's reports. And I'm going to enter the results. and I can check through. They haven't been pasted in yet. That's all you have to do. All done.